Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Amay, and hope you all are doing good because I have a good luck update for One UI 3.0 for all the Samsung Galaxy devices. So as you can see, this was updated on 20th of Jan 2021. So that was yesterday, and not all the apps are working yet, but there are few new changes and new look. So we will take a look at that. So I have it updated now. So let's open it and see. In the family apps as well, you can see that the look has been updated. So we will quickly go to the quick start that is the first one. So this is for the visibility of indicator icons. We can change it into the status bar. For example, let's disable mobile data signal here and as you can see that the icons disappear and we can change it for network icons, anything. For some reason, if you want to disable your Wi-Fi icon, you can do that as well. I always keep NFC disabled because I never use it. Then there is a clock setting that you can see top left corner. You can show AM, PM over there. You can completely hide it or you can set it to right or left as default i like it default way and i never show ampm because it blocks notification icons in the status bar so i will keep it that way then there is a notification sort order so basically what it does is notifications was sorted by default with the priority specified by the app but we can use this menu to sort notifications by time what basically it means is new notifications will be shown on top in the notification panel And there is this show quick button grid menu which is my favorite what it basically does is you can see that when you pull down a notification bar the grid that you can see is 4 by 3 and there is a huge space wasted here and I only see 12 icons at the time but now with this feature you can enable it and now I can see 6 by 3 grid and there are 18 icons that are shown at a time and of course we can add additional apps from there and it will be shown in the second tab so that is quite interesting i like it this way and i'll keep it on and the last one is swipe directly to quick setting it is not that interesting to be honest basically this setting allows you to adjust the status bar area to expand directly to quick setting and we can change the status bar indicator swipe area divider from zero to hundred percent on either side now next app that is updated is navstar so let's look at the new and changed feature we will install it first as you can see the new animation is there we'll allow the access and let's make it on and now we can change the new configuration of that buttons in the navigation bar there are a lot of interesting combinations here as you can see And of course, you can add a button to the left side of the navigation bar to show or hide the navigation bar. There are some customization to swipe gestures as well. So if you make it on, it will ask you to switch to the navigation bar gesture. To use Navstar swipe gesture settings, you of course need to change the navigation bar to gesture type. So we'll quickly change it from the settings. Now here the first setting is transparent hint. Basically it makes the navigation bar hint area transparent to make the content more visible. And of course to use this feature you need to enable the navigation bar hint. Let's go back and enable it. And now you can see the three lines are shown as a gesture hints and we can make it transparent. The other setting is gesture handle and we can change the color of that so it shows the gesture handle color optimized for the background based on the selected color. So if you want a darker background, darker gesture handle, you can set that as well. I don't use the navigation bar, I always use the default gestures. Those of you of the apps that are working as you can see if, if you see the not as it is unplugged and when you click on that it shows that we are preparing update and when you see the update available mark and of course we'll make a separate video on all the features when it starts working one more interesting app in the family apps is this theme park and we can create a new theme and install it quickly and easily 
I will just show you the screenshot. As you can see, there are multiple infinite options. Create a new theme and set it as your main theme of the phone. So these are all the people that we need to thank to. Thank you very much, guys. We really appreciate it. And that was it from my end. If you have any questions related to this, something that you would like to know about, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And make sure you have pressed that bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. And last but most important thing, stay safe, take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers!